Outside the Russian embassy in Washington, D.C., moments of pride breaking through protest. In the 21st century, it's horrible to start a war and to seize the territories of its neighbors, like first Russia, next Crimea, and then it started a hybrid war in eastern Ukraine and Donbass. Vows to uphold Ukraine's independence and peace despite a Russian attack. But Ukrainians in the United States are so shocked the conflict escalated to this. We live in Skatos, that's 50 miles from Crimea. They were preparing for that, though they were staying optimistic about it. But yeah, definitely that's quite shocking to see. In Chicago's Ukrainian village, residents are terrified, helplessly trying to contact family. Many fear the worst, knowing their relatives will be asked to fight. They are scared because um, the Ukrainian government is going to uh, hire soldiers from 18 to 50 years old. So I have it in the same age my family. New York City is home to the largest Ukrainian population in the United States. In the Diocese of Brooklyn, Bishop Robert Brennan urged Catholics to pray for those in their own community and around the world. Here in Brooklyn from the Ukrainian community, we join with them in prayers for the nation of Ukraine, but we also pray the larger peace of the world. We turn to the Lord in our moment of need. Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parolin reiterated Pope Francis's call for Ash Wednesday to be a day of prayer and fasting for peace in Ukraine. And we continue to pray and fast as we shall do this coming Ash Wednesday for peace in Ukraine and in the entire world. <laughs> And men and women religious at the monastery of the UGCC in southeastern Ukraine are making their voices heard. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Courage News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.